So I finished Halo the series season one. This is how that went. Bro better flip the coin. What do you think of our little school? I think I'm a kidnapping kids. I think it's wonderful. Uh, I bet you do. God, that Warhog looks pretty good. Oh, fusion coil. Did you ever wonder why? No. I mean, it's not a good way of thinking because the more you understand your enemy, the more effective you are defeating them. Why? I wonder if all that gun grease in your hair didn't seep down into your brain. Asking me dumbass questions like that. <laughs> What are you looking at? Cortana can literally interface with Chief. She can know what he's thinking, though. Like, that's the whole point of Cortana. He's in his head. You moved your pellet. And I'm so dangerous. What's that make you? A hypocrite. Anything. Stop talking. Can't hear myself think. Well, I can, and you're not missing much. <laughs> See, if she can hear him think... Why did she ask him, what are you looking at? <laughs> I'm looking at that sexy phantom. That's what I'm looking at. Me when I've lost four games of ranked in a row. You've always been there for me. I like that he has that relationship with Keys though. The truth. I will look into this personally. Thank you, sir. Yeah, and guess what's going to look into you personally? A little too personally. A flood. And now you've put all of us at risk. I'm cutting you off. My brother, after I've had one too many drinks. I wonder what I Bro, maybe not stand right in front of it. <laughs> no way, Master Chief just did that to a Marine. Hey, Reclaimer. She just like destroy his brain, just shut off his brain completely. Damn, she really hid like that. Uh, like Peta Malark over here. If you don't get out of my head, I slip space rupture detected. Ooh, that's one of the most horrifying things to hear in Halo. Slip space rupture detected. Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Yeah, that's what I want to see. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is Halo. Ha. Oh, oh, fear the pink mist. Damn. Oh, what the fuck? They can do that? What the? Oh my god. They did the size of Jackal's justice, though. That was cool. Oh. Dude, the shield. Oh, nice. Skyjack. Man, fight back. Fight back. Man, bro, just kamikaze that phantom. Oh. Dude, they look so good. Yeah! Dude, look at that shotgun! That's Chief Protecting Marines right there. Oh! oh. Damn! Nice. What the? It's a brute! Not sure it'll help. Is that supposed to be Tartarus? No, that's Atriox! I recognize the... Dude, he's got... That's Atriox! What the... Why was that automatic? Dude, that was 100... What the hell? That was 100% a... a uh, our favorite Jirohane. Oh, let's go a little med pack. Damn. 
That was a cool transition. The Covenant had kidnapped her as a child and kept them prisoner ever since. You all right? Yeah, it sounds yeah, very familiar to him. No, sir, I'm fine. I love that shot. Nice. John. Damn, that was tense. He was really waiting for Cortana to do something. I just needed to know your AI's limits. That's what I was figuring. Yeah, I think no Cortana was to lying to him. From what's next? A human living among the Covenant. Unheard of. I know. Or a few matters. Mother Marie. Says the man Damn. put on the uniform. For real. You're the demon. But that's what the thing he had called you. Mm. Love it's hearing that. We are the same. Oh, that theme. You don't understand. Put me down as mildly irritated. <laughs> Some of those advancements in genetics were based on what the hell? scientific protocols. Oh, so they don't know those two are there. They're like holographically there. Only those two in the back know they're there. Okay. Let's never stop this. Yeah, okay, I see. That's really cool. And that thing you replaced me with. Flash clone. Genetically compromised flash clones. Tearing us from our childhood homes was reasonable. No, she said the explanation they gave him was reasonable. John, you have something inside of you, some atavistic connection to this thing that we're calling the Halo. Ah. Uh... I know. We will lead our species beyond its current limitations, but you need me. Humanity is about to go on a great journey. Woo! Let's finish what we started. Damn, she just said the fight. I'll finish. The fight. Uh, you. Oh, that's what she said. Master Chief Petty Officer John 117. Nice. What does an artificial superintelligence do when it has nothing to do? Think. Was the discharge rate? Hey, the Splazer. Wasn't in the brief. Dude, look at the Magnums. Ah. Uh, is that a DMR? Oh, uh, the ring. That's crazy that it's affecting like his nervous system because that's what Halo rings do. They shut down your nervous system and instantly kill you. On Zeta Halo? Or did he go straight to heaven because he died? It has to be like a gene song like the librarians get because like the composer still affected Chief and knocked him out. But he still came around, you know, across the other side fine. And this like knocked him out in a way and he is still fine. Unless they're both in heaven dead. Atkins. Oh, they're on a halo, bro. Can't really see it, though. There it is. That is crazy. Oh, my God. I just remembered. I just remember he hits that. Oh, my God. I completely forgot about Master Cheeks. I completely forgot. I already know that they, they you know, they get the nasty on. If you're going to feed your soldiers, Father, at least don't feed them lies. Anywhere That's a good line, though. That stopped extremely fast. Why would you get out? I just stayed in the car, bro. That was 100% on you. Those Targaryens? Yeah, and you got out of the car in a sandstorm and got kidnapped. Madrigal was once very different. Barren and unforgiving. Food was scarce. Water, even scarcer. So it's basically Life the same. A struggle for the a visitor from another time, perhaps from another existence. Foreigner. Which has been handed on to future. Hey, generations. what? So what is it? I thought she wasn't ready. So she's the Avatar. Fight. She's gonna fight. <laughs> Fair fight. This, this is a mistake. You. <laughs> she wants to fist fight, Master Chief. What? What's she gonna do with that? <laughs> yeah, that checks out. So she's basically playing Escalation Slayer. Why are you stabbing the armor and not the undersuit? That checks out. Why are you shooting his chest? <laughs> I 
I just punches her in the face. Bro, what does this have to do with Halo, though? Are you talking to me? Well, who else is there? Oh, is that all her, like, previous Avatar lives? This is some Black Panther shit. Was she in the domain or something? I'll teach him to think before every step he takes. That's a good line. Goodbye. If there's nothing else you require, or you must get my perishable stored. Yeah, she's dead. Fetch the car, Pete. Can someone store her perishables, please? Oh, great. He's here to what collect the bounty. My pistol. Oh, it's like that. Yeah, it's like <laughs> that. have to be different. Damn. Bro, still a Spartan. Well, that didn't last long. Oh, plasma grenade. It's my baby. Oh, this guy's about to have a really bad death. Oh, poor guy. Take your jacket off, man. Take your jacket off. Oh. Oh. And they are. Yeah. Oh, it's his AR. Oh. Damn. That was a pretty cool explosion. That's fuel. And close your mouth. Don't inhale that. I know it ain't rain. It's not even cloudy. We'll see each other again. God, I hope not. <laughs> okay, so that had nothing to do with the main story, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, it's the Master Cheek scene, huh? Got the cool parallel. It's a bit annoying that they already know about Halo, though. They knew of, you know, a 400 thing with the data they got from Reach. They didn't know what Halo was or what a Halo was until they actually got there, so... I don't really like that that much. That's right. All his systems are back to normal. Look at you, so cheerful. Chief's health is important. <laughs> There's two of Man, this place is about to get its shit rocked next season. Trees and bright light in the sky. Oh, there's gonna be a few bright lights Green in the sky festival. next season. There's a prophecy. A great journey. Fine wind will rush through, propelling all those who are worthy on a bright journey to the Woo! Great journey. We will become like And those who are worthy? Nah, don't worry about it. I'll be back. Yeah, maybe not leave her by herself. God damn, that scared me. Swiped out immediately. Ooh. Then three more covenant fleets appear. Fell first. The harvest? An hour ago, 11 million people were living. The search for survivors has begun. Whoa. Cut the fleet. They're glassing now. Well, you know I can't. Fell about I'm on a killing spree. The cold protocol applies here. Cold protocol, yo. Decades of indoctrination. He did. I did. I mean, to be fair, his situation's different. Get on with it. This was totally planned. They they were gonna wait to glass the planet. That way it forces them to ask Mucky for help. Oh nice, they have a phantom. Accent? Or like a woman speaking it. Speech impediment. Oh no. I'm not ready. My entire childhood has led me to this moment, watching Master Chief lose his virginity. <sighs> they grow up so fast. The one spoiler about this show, I'm actually happy I knew, because it's not going to catch me off guard, and I'm going to be like, ha. I feel like Chief in the books, if he were to lose his virginity, not that he hasn't, he would do this, but with the helmet on. So like, he would straight up do the nasty with everything off, except the helmet. Oh my god. What in the cuckoldry, Cortana? That ain't no mark of the heretic. That's mark of the virgin right there. Cortana. 
Stop being a cuck. I know you wish it was you, but come on. Not okay. I wish it were me too. I would like to do the nasty with Master Chief. Oh my god, no one had to talk with John. John, I hope you wore protection, man. We don't need little baby Master Chief running around, okay? I don't think he wore protection, guys. This isn't good. Did Halsey and other Mr. Scientist dude not, like, see his heart rate and his, you know, bio statistics just start going really crazy? Hey, yo, you could still use that, though. Ugh, I have something with fingernails. Ah. Oh, my God. I can't do fingernails. Or how are you going to hide your fingernail? Just going to put a band-aid on it? What was the point in that? Was, was it like a way of, for herself to take out her, you know, pellet? John has a girlfriend. Oh, no, they definitely know. <laughs> I'm angry at you. I'm angry at myself. I'm, I'm angry at Paramount for not getting these characters right. Sacrifice your daughter. Oh, they cloned her eye. Damn, that's smart. I raised him since he was six years old. He's very fond raised. of you. Signal the Spartans. Are they executing Order 66? Z protocol. The Order 66. Ma'am, are you sure this is the right plan of action? Ah. Must be another way to help Master Chief. Wow, well, there's no way he was compromised. Oh, she's gonna tell him he's there's compromised. Halsey, we need to fight. Oh. Oh, God damn. Assume full control of his body and consciousness, just as I promised. What? So she's been able to do that the entire time. What's happening? Turn around and get out now. See, this is the Cortana I know. She's she's on John's side. Agent, I said she will end up doing something like this. Why is he whining? <laughs> I said she would do yes. something like this. I said so. She could easily break that, no? I just saw her lift a warthog. Can't break a stone obelisk? Damn. Damn, she shattered the gun. That's what I'm saying. She could easily get out. Damn, see, that's cool. That's cool. It reminds me of when you beat up the ODSTs. Get up. Yo! Dude, there's like the Halo DNA in the show. I really appreciate just those moments like this. Oh! Damn! Damn, they're trying to kill him? Damn. Damn, she was actually telling the truth. Now she's going to hate humanity again. Oh my god, look, even her radar has uh, red dots. I don't blame her though. And that is how the Covenant's going to find Reach. Take your weapon off. Drop it. So much for the cold protocol. That sound effect. It's true. It is. Damn, even he's gonna step up. Shut down your and come out, or we will fire it sucks though, because they don't want to kill her because of how much of an asset she is. But they also want to kill her because how much of a liability she is. Yeah, see, she's fast. Oh my god. Yep, that checks out. Dude, no way he hit her in the head with that. Ooh. I mean, what did you think was going to happen? Yes, Chief. I'm still with you. I'm going to need you now. No, <laughs> now you'll need her. <laughs> Dude, the Spartan suit up this. Ah. Nice. There will be reckoning, Captain. For all of us. No, that'll be next season. Hey, were you really going to shoot me? You know oh, I would absolutely. have. absolutely. No question. <laughs> I can't believe you Man, that looks so good. The honor guards. Oh my god. 
Yo. Oh, hell yeah. She's real. Dab him up. And I would take over. Damn, she's at least being honest about it. Wait, for the less beaten up version. <laughs> that's the Cortana, I know. <laughs> oh, that's cool. He's lucky. God, that's cool. He's all sweating. <laughs> it's had the opposite effect. It's hardened you. I couldn't be more proud. Bro, where is my boy Thel at? Nice. I love that. Nice. I love that. I really like that they're presenting the idea that Master Chief is to Sue and John is the person within, which I don't know why that bothers people considering the whole point of Halo 4 was exploring the idea of the man versus the machine. That's a cool shot. The sleeping grud. <laughs> That's disrespectful. Oh, that's disrespectful. I really hope they don't kill Maki. I really like her character. Doctor, look at me. You take like a cyanide capsule? Flash clone. He's a flash clone. It was in that pod. That's what. Oh. Damn. That was good. I like that. Ooh, the. Cup. Oh my god, it's all 400 sigils. Nice. Oh, the, all the Halo ring symbols? I like how they're doing this ceremony for her. When it's like that Parks and Rec thing where they have the Wama pokes like do the ceremony of like getting rid of the curse. Because they're just going to kill her anyways. Yeah, my zealous. Calculating. One, two, two fifty. There's my Jirohane. Dude, look at the spider! Yeah, my gravity hammer, boys! Oh, damn! 100% Atriox. Girl, Hane. Oh, the team! Oh, dude. Oh! Yeah, that checks out. 100% Atriox. I don't like that they're setting up the banish, though. Oh, oh, yeah, that's what I like. Damn, she's taking hammers like it's nothing. Well, he's doing better than Chief was in Infinite. Never mind, I take that back. He's doing about the same. Oh, there's her Divine Wind. <laughs> Again, Fus Rodad. One, two, three. Oh, I was going to see if there's seven. Oh, there is. Oh, she dead. I cannot wait for them to get into the blood. They've been guiding us this whole time. So she has to be in the domain. Oh. Kai shot her. Oh man. You could have just tackled her, bro. Oh, that's not good. That's an instant kill. That's not oh. possible. The second you touch. Like, why does he have to die though? Just like. Oh, nice. That's kind of creepy though. If he does die, she's like taking a corpse. Why are you guys worried about Chief? She has an active hole in her chest. Or armor. Rip. Oh, nice. The king and the pawn go back into the same box. Oh, that Halo 4, or Ford Unto Dawn reference. So this Master Chief from the books. Oh yeah, he dual wielded now. <laughs> hey, Drax, get out of here. You gotta go for him. The Cortana takes over Chief and he's the most Chief he's been the entire show. Yeah, so where's she been? When did it's she... time for us to take control? Reach to heritage site of Manassas. She's potential. been there the whole time. Is that? I no, it's respect the holy beam or sacrifices to come. Yeah, a whole planet's worth of sacrifices. But I believe. So, are we gonna see noble team and stuff? Like, how cool would it be to see Carter? And, Cause that was like a huge part about the fall of Reach. Not Chief Story. Chief never never interacted with noble team in the Halo Reach game, but it'll be cool. They're off doing their own thing in this show anyways. That's creepy. That's where they left season one? 
Wow. That's... that's a, I'm actually pretty happy with that. He definitely felt like Chief at the end there, and that could explain a lot. Okay. I'm definitely glad I finished this. It was definitely better than I thought it was going to be, and a lot better than what people made it seem like it was. So as you can tell, I enjoyed Halo Season 1 far more than I thought I was going to. Uh, if you've been following my channel for a while, you know I started reacting to Halo Season 1 when it actually aired. I can't believe it's been almost two years now, and I just couldn't get into it. I wasn't a big fan of it. I saw a spoiler that Master Chief loses his virginity and stuff. I'm like, dude, this isn't Halo. I, I just couldn't do it. So I... I fell off and then the Halo series season two trailer came out and it really caught my attention. I'm like, okay, I'll give it a chance. And I'm very pleased with what happened in that back half of the season. Episodes five to nine outside of seven were really good. Seven just felt like a whole side quest I did not care about. Although Soren's cool, I don't care about Quan Ha stuff. If you were gonna do insurrection stuff and a whole thing with that, that should have been a whole separate show or at least like the first three episodes and then the Covenant shows up and that's their introduction, not have both things go on at the same time. I just felt like it was too much considering how saturated the Halo story already is, especially if you're gonna take from the books. I, al although I still stand by my belief that the characterization of some of these characters weren't on point i do think over the time these characters really did grow on me as their own original versions of these characters and i can tell that's what the showrunner wanted to do they wanted to take a show that was based around the halo story and build upon that and i think that this show was a solid 8 out of 10 if you were to look past the halo aspect of it i think as a halo show it doesn't do well to captivate a halo fan's attention if you want to make a halo show you want to cater to the fans you want to cater to the story that's already there but do your little spin on it don't change it you know fundamentally from the ground up that's not what you want to do when you're taking an IP and making it into a live action show. Look at the One Piece live action. It had the creator on board and it ended up being a massive success. So if I'm looking at it from a strict story aspect and keeping my Halo bias out of it, I definitely enjoyed it. It had a lot of great moments. It kept me interested and hooked outside of episode seven, the Quan stuff. And it definitely looked like Halo. I think the Covenant aesthetic was great. The Spartans looked like Spartans, even if Silver Team isn't a thing in the lore. I still think they looked like Spartans that would exist in Halo, so I'm very happy with that. I'm glad that they borrowed elements from the books. Like, I saw a lot of people complaining that they had these artifacts that don't exist in Halo, and they use that to talk about Halo and find it throughout Season 1, where in the books, humanity did find an artifact that ended up giving coordinates to Cortana that they found in the Forerunner ship underneath Reach. And then that ended up, you know, when they did the blind jump to leave after the glassing of Reach, uh, they ended up at Halo. So although they didn't know of the existence of Halo until they got there in the games, they still used an artifact of sorts to find it, even if it was unintentional. Here, they still borrowed that aspect of it. And a lot of people don't realize that that actually happened in the lore. They used an artifact to lead them to Halo. So although I don't really like that they know about Halo before they find it. The show is called Halo and you have to have some aspect of it and it doesn't really change the story at all considering the overall implications of them knowing that a Halo exists before they get there because in Halo Comedy Evolved they get to Halo like oh my god what is this it's it's a weapon huh but the real twist behind it is the flood and what a Halo truly does. They know it's a weapon but the twist is what it does. And them knowing that a Halo exists in this show doesn't change that twist, doesn't change that narrative fundamentally. So again, I think that would be a good example of taking the story of Halo and twisting it a little bit, but it doesn't change the flood. It doesn't change anything like that. They could still change it and make us all angry later on in season two or three if it gets renewed. But as it stands right now, from the point of me recording this, they haven't done that and it doesn't change those twists and that narrative. So I'm overall not too unhappy with it i'm just gonna let it ride so overall i think that the halo series halo season one whatever you want to call it is good i don't think it's bad i don't think it deserves the hate it gets and i know pablo who actually plays master chief john says a lot of things that doesn't really appeal to the fans and they don't really like it and he made a comment saying you can't have helmets on if you want to convey emotion. Well, we've seen now that's not necessarily true with characters like the Mandalorian, with characters like Boba Fett, with even Master Chief in the games. Like look at Halo Infinite when Master Chief finds Spartan Griffin or Spartan Stone, 
and he's conveying those emotions to the pilot when he has his big moment halfway through the uh, the the game. In all those instances, these characters have their helmets on, but you still felt the emotion. Like when Chief was talking about losing Cortana at the end of Halo 4, you know, she said that to me once about being a machine. You really felt his pain. However, there is a different level of emotion when you see someone's face, their eyes, your eyes are what they say is the gateway to your soul. You can really tell what a person's feeling through their eyes. So I understand where he's coming from and I don't disagree with him fundamentally. But I do think having his helmet off throughout the show doesn't change Master Chief's character. I think the whole point of having Master Chief's helmet off in the games is that way, you know, you feel like Master Chief. But in the show, you're not Master Chief. You're watching Master Chief. You're not playing as Master Chief. So having his helmet off doesn't necessarily bug me all that much. It is a fun meme, like, put your damn helmet on. But at the end of the day, it doesn't bother me. I don't care if he has his helmet off. I think that I got worked up just because we're so used to seeing Chief without his helmet. And it's you know kind of a big selling point of his character. But at the end of the day, it's not that big of a deal. In my opinion, if you feel like he should have the helmet on, I completely understand. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that he should take the helmet off. I'm just personally saying it doesn't bother me as much as I thought it would. The one thing I do want to add before I end off this video is I really like that they did convey, especially in those last two episodes, the man versus the machine, where she said in the battlefield, your master chief, you need to forget about your pain. You need to forget about what's bothering you right now when you're outside of the suit, you're John and then chief dies, Cortana takes over and he becomes Master Chief from the game. So I really like that aspect of it. And I like Maki's parallel. And I didn't really like her character that much. It didn't make sense that a human was with the Covenant. But in this particular world, and even in Halo's like game lore and book lore, the Covenant do need humans. They've needed humans throughout all the games to get where they needed to be. They needed a human to activate Delta Halo. They needed a human to activate the Ark. So it makes sense why they'd want to keep one around and brainwash them. And it parallels nicely with the UNSC kidnapping the children. So I really did enjoy that parallel between Maki and John. But overall, those are my thoughts on Halo the series. I'm not going to say anything else. I had a lot of you know, opinions about the music and all that and my other reactions. And I definitely enjoyed it. It looked like Halo. Didn't feel as much like Halo as I wanted it to, but it wasn't bad. And I appreciate you guys watching. I'm really excited for Halo the series season two, and I'll see you all in the next one. Subscribe to Zang Helios for some more unbelievable content.